Okay, bandits have been invading my camp. Bandits came into my camp in the middle of the night. They broke this container open. They took Tuesday's food out. So they dumped out five pounds of food and these bandits consumed it all in the middle of the night. So these bandits are notorious for showing up about an hour after sundown every night. But I'm gonna be ready for them. Using these little solar powered lights that I, I made this little, <laughs> I made this little surveillance camera right here. This is an ab action cam that's bungeed to a rock. Here, now this is the actual scene of the crime. So I'm gonna put this little action cam right here. Over here I have my GoPro. My GoPro is bungeed to a post. So I have to sit and I have to be very quiet. And basically I'm gonna be using the truck as a blind. Tuesday Kitty has actually been out here when the bandits show up. Last night she was sitting right on this picnic bench watching the raccoons as they fight over her food. Uh, and she just, she doesn't mix it up with them at all. She just, uh, she just hangs back, she watches them. Uh, she's not bothered by them. She's pretty mellow. And the raccoons aren't bothered by her. Now what happens is the raccoons will fight with each other and that's when it gets interesting. So stay tuned. Let's let the sun go down and let the fun begin. Reviewing this footage from last night reminds me that my favorite book when I was a kid was Rascal, a story about a boy who had a pet raccoon. So after I read the book Rascal, I spent most of my childhood wanting a pet raccoon. The book Rascal was popular in the United States, but it was also very popular in Japan. And as a result, pet trade capitalized on this and people in Japan started adopting baby raccoons for pets. Now, if you read the book, you find out that raccoons don't really make the best pets in captivity. And as they get older, they need to be released. In Japan, all those adopted baby raccoons grew up and were eventually released into the wild by their owners. This resulted in a population explosion of raccoons in Japan. Monks in the Zen monasteries wanted to provide safe haven for these newly released raccoons, so they allowed the raccoons to live in the loft or attic portion of the monasteries. And once again, the raccoons multiplied and they had a population explosion. Uh, kind as the monks wanted to be, they eventually had to eradicate the raccoons from the monastery because the overpopulation of raccoons began to result in structural damage to the monasteries. <laughs> Raccoons are cute, aren't they? But they sure do need to learn some table manners. 